What's up, y'all? We're at the Great Vine Classic, and this is my first tournament back in over a year. And so last video, I played my singles bracket, and I lost double elimination to some decently tough players, okay? And so we go in doubles, my boy Takoma, and we here to win. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Takoma is currently a D1 player for Prairie View A&M, and he's doing his master's program right now. And he hit me up saying, let's get a tournament in. And I was like, sure. So, as you already know, let's get it rolling, baby. And so, first match on, we're playing against Jonathan Sheehy and Savan Chabra, who are some XD1 players. Jonathan played at OU and ACU, and his career high was a 13.47 UTR, and he was number 77 in the nation for college. Tough competition, and then Savan Chabra, I don't know his career high, but right now he's sitting currently at a 12 UTR. And so, you know what I'm saying? It's not really the... It's not really the best competition for our first match on, but they're all, you're off and hey, I mean, it's still good, but I think I think one of them has a little injury, so it's our time, our opportunity to show what we can do. And so, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's dig in. And honestly, this is my first doubles tournament period. Like I haven't done the doubles tournament UTR before. And so I didn't really like, even though I done high school, but I don't feel like that really counts. So I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's nice having a teammate, you don't really, I still wasn't able to, I'm not used to the pressure, you know what I'm saying? And coming off of two singles losses pretty badly, I think my confidence is a little shot. And so I'm just trying to play the best I can. And, but I mean, these guys are kind of crazy. They send out rockets, bro. It's a little tough, it's a little tough. But at the same time, I knew that if we play the best we can, we can definitely string up some points. And hey, all it takes is one good opportunity to take a few games and another good opportunity to take the win. And even though they're not playing at the best, we knew this is our time to show what we can do. It's a great, great first game because it really shows the level we're at. And honestly, we're down 0-3. It's not really the best look at all. Um, but at the same time, we we still gonna push. Um, Takuma was playing pretty well, honestly, the first, first few games, bro. He was serving inspired, bro. He was, he was creating a lead, bro. Honestly, I was like, yo, this is my first tournament. You don't have to like, almost coached me throughout this. Um, I was like, if I start missing easy shots around, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm All right, we just finished. Yeah. We took uh, four games though. We Light lost. work. <laughs> we had we to lost. let them win, you know. Yeah. We didn't want to destroy them. Yeah, we're trying to be a little nice, yeah. but uh, no, it was actually a good match. So definitely, I mean, we'll see how from here our officials not even. Yeah, we 
we've been waiting we've been 30 waiting. minutes. Yeah, so we might come back tomorrow, finish up our devils. And you'll see us win Constellation, Lightwork. That'd be cool. But definitely, shoot, the road to D1 might be devils. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see though. My camera ran out of battery for our last match. We ended up losing an 8 4 to ACU, which is kind of not the result we wanted, but at the same time, they're tough competition. And so, this match, we're playing against Josh Granberry and Callum Rowe, who are some ex D3 players for Austin College, and they're both sitting at currently at 90 TR for doubles. So, it's going to be a little bit easier of competition, but at the same time, we still have to play a decent level for us to compete. And so right now we're just always trying to, you know what I'm saying, step into the court, playing a lot more comfortable. But this match is sitting around 7.30 p.m. Like we started, we're the last people in court. And we're honestly, my body was just really exhausted. I didn't, I got to the site at like six something in the morning. And so, I mean, this is 7.30 at night. We didn't end up leaving to nine something. So we're there for, gosh, bro, 12 to 14 hours, bro, on the, on the site. Uh, so which is not obviously what we wanted. Our, our bodies were screaming. The neck started cramping in the middle of the match, which was kind of funny. Not really funny, my best to go. <laughs> but um, yeah, my body, bro, my, my shoulder, my legs, everything was dead at that point. For my first tournament back, I'm sitting 14 hours in court, which is really, it's not the most pleasant way to start off. But hey, I mean, this is part of the road to D1. I always got to fight for every every point, every shot. And there's certain opportunities that I have, as you can see, where I'm not able to capitalize on the opportunities I'm given. And I don't know if it was just nerves or what is happening, but I, there was a lot of unforced errors in this one that can definitely should be gone. And I mean, if my ability to volley on a high ball is two-handed backhand volley, which is not good. Like I had to really be able to put those balls away. And I was kind of just, I, I think it was just nerves. Like maybe just the first tournament back type of nerves and not really trusting myself, which is not good, especially in doubles when you have another partner right next to you. But for this, I, I really got to work on just having that self-confidence throughout these matches and knowing that I can play the way I want to because if I'm constantly playing timid, I'm not going, I'm not going to string it together wins or stuff like that. But definitely though, the match does get good. So I'll let y'all watch. Let's get it.
And so we go down 4 7, 15 40, and honestly, bruh, it was tough, bruh. It was tough, but we're we gonna get the run back. As always, this is Road to D1, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Stay blessed.